As we've discussed in other series, most recent critical interpreters have been deeply influenced by the perspectives of Martine Note. Note's book, The Deuteronomistic History, was first published in German in 1943. In it, Note argued that the books of Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Samuel, and Kings, excluding Ruth, were completed as a unified work by a scribe or group of scribes. Note called this scribe or scribes the Deuteronomist. In his view, the Deuteronomist composed these books during the Babylonian exile, and this entire Deuteronomistic history had one main purpose. It was written to demonstrate that the judgment of exile that had come upon the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah was well-deserved. It's difficult to deny that these Old Testament books have similarities in their vocabulary, style, and theological perspectives. So by and large, critical scholars have affirmed Note's central perspectives. But more recently, a number of critical scholars have modified Note's outlook in a variety of ways. Most importantly, they've argued rightly that Note failed to take into account the distinctive features of each individual book in the Deuteronomistic history. We should also mention that Note and other critical commentators have argued that the book of Samuel contains several identifiable pre-existing literary sources. For example, some have argued that there was a separate source for the stories about Eli and Samuel in 1 Samuel chapters 1 through 3. Others have claimed that we can reconstruct an underlying, independent Ark narrative from the stories about the Ark of the Covenant in 1 Samuel chapters 4 through 6. And some have attributed 2 Samuel chapter 6 to this same source. Many interpreters have also argued that the final compiler of Samuel wove together pre-existing pro- and anti-monarchical stories in 1 Samuel chapters 7 through 15. And other critical scholars have asserted that several succession stories appear in 2 Samuel chapters 9 through 20 and 1 Kings chapters 1 and 2. In this view, this source originally explained why Solomon, rather than some other son of David, became the king of Israel. 